Next, I'm live and direct, dissolving things in liquids to demonstrate solubility. Oh man, I wouldn't mind a nice cup of tea. Been talking for ages now. I've got a question for you guys. Do you think I can fit this level of polystyrene into this jar? Yes. Yeah, no. No? Yeah? Yes. I like that. You've got some faith in me. Excellent. Right. This is what we're going to do. We're going to take the stem for polystyrene and we're going to stick it into this Pyrex jug. But we're going to use something to help us do it. It's this stuff. It's called propanone or acetone. We're going to dissolve this polystyrene into this. And when we dissolve it in, this will be called the solute. And this stuff that does the dissolving will be called the solvent. And when they're mixed together, they will be called a solution. You add a bit of the solvent. Something's happening. Mm. Slowly but surely, it's going in. So remember, this acetone is the stuff that you've actually got in nail varnish remover. Oh, yeah. Saw that around. Yay. Oh, yes. So there we have it, a whole polystyrene rod fitted into a little Pyrex jar. I, uh, can I have two cups of tea, please? Solubility is a measure of how much solute can dissolve in a solvent. The solubility of a solute in a solvent changes with temperature. And importantly, it depends on whether the solute is a gas or a solid. So let's look at solids first. Here, we have two identical hot cups of tea. And we want to see how much sugar can be held in solution in these hot cups of tea. When no more sugar can dissolve, the solution is said to be saturated. I think that's getting just about saturated now. But the situation changes when the liquid is cooled down. Luckily, I've got a bit of dry ice here, and that should do the job perfectly. Dry ice is at a temperature of minus 78 degrees centigrade. So it's going to cool the water down. So in this one, you can see there's still a tiny bit of sugar that's crystallized at the bottom because it's a bit cooler. But this one, look how much sugar is actually in the bottom. The sugar behaves like most solids in that the solubility increases as the temperature of the solvent does. What's interesting about gases is that they behave in the opposite way to solids. The solubility of gases decreases as the temperature increases. I'm going to show you a neat trick. Check out these ice cubes. One set's lovely and clear, but the other one's pretty cloudy. It's all down to the solubility of gases in a liquid. So to make cloudy ice cubes, all we need to do is take tap water and put it straight in. But if we want our ice cubes to be clear, you have to boil the water first. And here's why boiling the water makes a difference. At room temperature, the water contains a certain amount of dissolved gases from the air. The water straight from the tap creates cloudy ice cubes because these gases that were dissolved in the water form tiny bubbles in the ice. By heating the water to boiling point, we have decreased the solubility of the dissolved gases. They come out of the solution as bubbles and the remaining water has less gases dissolved and so is less cloudy. For a solution, the solubility of gases decreases as we increase the temperature. 